Mom, it's Jerry. Yes, I'm still in Hamilton. Yes, I'm still on Nemo's mission. No, I'm not spending too much time on... Ow! Oh, uh, uh, screens. I'm fine. You gotta run, Mom. Love ya. Maybe you shouldn't walk and talk, Jerry. What are you, my mother? Destination hey. on your right. Whitehern Historic House and Garden National Historic Site. From Dundurn to Whitehern. All right. Watch out for the flowers. Anyway, Whitehern has an amazing story behind it, centered on the McQueston family and their matriarch, Mary Baker McQueston. Ready for a soap opera, Jerry? Oh boy, screen time. And now, as the White Ferns, a story of riches to rags and back again. This is Dr. Calvin McQueston, who made a huge fortune from an iron foundry, retired and put his son Isaac in charge. But then Calvin died. Isaac moved his family into Whitehern, drove himself into bankruptcy, and died three years later. Bummer. I think I need some snacks. Isaac's widow, Mary Baker McQueston, was left to raise their six children alone. Hilda, Thomas, Edna, Mary, Ruby, and Calvin. Mother Mary was not a little lamb. No, she was a domineering woman who exerted a powerful influence over the lives of her children until her death. Thomas was Mary's big success. He was a Hamilton VIP and member of the Ontario provincial government. He helped build bridges, highways, parkways, and parks. A real city builder and Hamilton booster. But he never got married and never had children. Ruby was as brilliant as Thomas and a very talented artist, but she worked as a school teacher to help pay for her brother's law degree. A young gentleman proposed to her, but Mother Mary broke up the engagement because he should look after his widowed mother rather than make a life for himself. She then contracted tuberculosis and died. No marriage, no children. Uh, sorry, Captain. I'm sucked into this story. Hilda was also proposed to, but by a salesman. Mother Mary argued that salesmen drank too much alcohol, and so she broke up that engagement too. Edna won a scholarship to study at university, but she suffered from chronic mental illness and ended up in a sanatorium. Neither married, neither had children. This is so tragic. Young Mary was attractive and intelligent, but her mother deemed her unfit for marriage. She rarely left home except to go to church. She lived to 90, but of course... No marriage? No children. Calvin lived a long life, and despite his disabilities, he worked as a journalist, missionary, minister, hospital chaplain, and writer. Many careers, but no marriage and no children. Due to Mother Mary's ambitions, the McQueston family line ended here. Talk about a smothering mother. Jerry, are you watching his screen again? Huh? No, Mom, I'm uh, about to go tour Whitehern. Which, after Calvin's death, was handed over to the city of Hamilton and beautifully restored to its 1939 glory for all of us to enjoy today. Jerry, if I catch you on a screen again, you're grounded. You have a mission from Captain Nemo, remember? And you haven't washed that shirt in four episodes.